fitness family so today we are doing the inner thigh workout hello fierce fitness family welcome back to my channel so today's workout is all about the inner thigh workout we are going to be burning fat around our inner thigh area so grab your bottle of water and a towel and let's do this okay so we will start by warming up before we go into the main workout like i always say on this channel if you're new here always warm up before you go into your main workout so we're going to do a quick warm up here if you have more time then please do a full proper warm up before you get into the workout okay because you're going to feel a lot of burn on your legs so warm up properly and then join us feel free to pause the video before you go right in okay all right so we will be doing some jumping jacks something i say to people is if you have short time to exercise because you have to go to work or you have some other things to do start with a jumping jack that's a quick way to warm up before you do your exercise but if you do have time then do a proper warm-up okay so here we're adding some lunges also because today we're targeting our legs so we have to make sure that we exercise we warm up our leg properly before we start okay so here we're starting with a sumo squat now sumo squat for those of you who are not aware sumo squat is one good exercise that targets your inner thighs okay so if you're looking to burn fat or lose some thigh fat then sumo squat is a good one okay that's like one of the exercises that you should do okay so today all the exercises we're doing is specifically to target the inner thighs okay although other muscles sumo squat doesn't only target your inner thigh but other your like your calf also and all that but today we're targeting inner thighs okay so let's keep going go down low now don't even try to rush it just slow slowly do it one at a time don't think of how many reps you can complete but think of how well and getting a proper form so you can get the best result from this so the up next is also sumo squat but this time we are going to lift our heels up while we squat down and we go back up make sure that your heels remain up okay your heel is not touching the floor okay like i said before do not consign yourself with how many reps you're going to get in but concern yourself with getting the proper form so you know that you're getting good results at the end of the day okay okay now when you're doing this exercise if you feel tired if your legs start wobbling please stop pause the video and then start again when you get yourself okay just don't over push yourself start slow and you will gradually build yourself okay so like i said we'll squat down and go back up making sure that our heel is suspended okay all right just squat as many as you can if you can do 10 if you can do 15 that's fine if you can do 20 that's good just do what your energy do what your body can handle okay up next right now we're going to squat down with our heels not touching the floor but we're going to hold that position squat and hold with your uh, heels suspended okay hold for as long as you can if you can 15 seconds 10 seconds 5 seconds it doesn't matter just hold for as long as you can but repeat that um squat and hold three times before you move on to the next exercise but hold for as long as you can handle okay so just squat and hold heels up hold that position hold it all right all right all right yes even my legs are wobbling at this point <laughs> i can feel it but trust me we are going to burn fat all right so uh, my voice i'm under the weather my voice is not the best right now but don't worry doesn't matter what happened we have to keep exercising right i have to make sure i put out content here for you people because we all have to work out we all have to stay fit so even though i'm under the weather i am here to put out the content but i apologize for my weird crooked voice <laughs> okay all right so up next this exercise you need a whole lot of balance so 
um, stand close to a wall or a chair. Find something that you can use to balance yourself while you swing your legs. Okay, if you cannot balance yourself without something, get a chair or stand close to your wall while you do this. Okay, so just swing your legs slowly, slowly. Do not rush it. Take it easy. Okay. Let's make sure we're doing it right so we get good result at the end of the day. Because sometimes you hear people saying, I do you these workouts, but these workouts don't work and stuff like that. Okay, so just keep swinging your legs. Keep swinging your legs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep swinging. Yes, I know you can do this. You can do this. Keep swinging. Okay. All right. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Let's burn that inner thigh fat, okay? Let's lose some kilos, okay? <laughs> Let's drop some kilos from our thighs. All right. Up next, we're going to do side lunge. Now, side lunge is also another good exercise that targets the inner thigh. So let's keep going. You can do this. All right. So let's go for side lunges. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Give it your best. Do not worry about how many sets you can get in in the time. But try to get proper form so you can get better results. I keep repeating this because burning inner thigh fat is not easy. Okay, that's one very difficult area that when you want to lose some kilos, it is very difficult to get rid of thigh fat. So do not try to rush it and let me do so many reps because sometimes people mistake getting many reps. They feel like when they do many reps, they get better results. That's when the exercise is working. But no, getting the proper form and doing it correctly it doesn't matter if you do only 10, if you do 5, but getting the right proper form, doing it correctly, it's better than doing 100 and not getting a proper form, okay? All right, so when you finish with one, we're going to switch to the other leg, like so. This is just a normal follow along video, okay? Pause the video if you are tired or your legs are wobbling. Pause the video and then continue. Okay, so we have 10 more to go. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the last one, 10. Okay, now, something I have to say, don't try to do, just because I said we have 10 more to go, you don't have to do 10 if your body cannot handle. Do what you can. If it's five, that's okay. Okay, so up next, we have laying down on the floor and we're just going to lift our butt up and open and close our legs as that's going to help target our inner thighs. Okay, so this is a kind of hip bridges, but we are opening and closing our legs because we are targeting our inner thighs. And now, like I said earlier, all these exercises that we're doing, though we are targeting our, in our inner thighs, but we are also working other muscles. Okay, we're also working other muscles in our lower body region, right? Okay, so keep it going, keep it going. Lift your butt up, open and close your legs and bring your butt back down to the floor. We're going to repeat that, mo that motion for as many times as we can. Okay, so up next right now, I'm explaining to you, you can actually lay down straight on the floor like so, as you see me demonstrating, or you can go with your hands, that's your elbow underneath your shoulders while you do this next move. Whichever of these two positions that is comfortable for you do so you can lay down all the way on the floor or you can put your hands on the floor using your elbow uh, making sure that your elbow is underneath your shoulders bringing the other leg forward and then lifting the other one up like so it's just a follow along video so you can actually see what i'm doing if you do not understand it uh, feel free to pause and 
uh, replay it until you understand what I'm doing and then you follow along, okay? All right, so when you're done with one side, do the other side. Now, do not concern yourself about lifting your leg too high, okay? Just make sure that your leg is a little bit above from the floor. That's all you need. Remember, we're working the inner thigh, okay? So we, we are not targeting like raising our leg all the way to the sky, okay? So if you want to lay down all the way, do so. If you don't want, that's still perfect. All right, so up next, now we're going to raise our legs up toward the ceiling, okay? So do as many reps as you can. Do as many as your body can handle, as your energy can handle. So, Because some of us are just starting out with this whole exercise thing. So don't over push yourself. Like seeing someone that has been training for many years or many months and you feel like I can do the same rep with that person. No. Start slowly, start small, and you will gradually build your strength and you'll be able to increase how many reps you go for and so on and so forth people make this mistake of the first day of exercise there they want to do so much and they want to do so many exercises and then they get so tired and their body is now paining the next day you can't even get up from your bed because your body hurts okay so start small and build your way up all right up next now we're going in for sumo squat but this time we're going to squat down we will raise our uh, heels up and put it back down and lift our heels up and put it back down trust me all these exercises your legs is going to be on fire as you do them but trust me you are getting a good result okay so keep pushing do not stop do not give up just keep going okay if your leg is wobbling take a short break few seconds of rest and continue thank you so so much for joining me on this workout let me know in the comment section if you try this workout tag me and i will share thank you so much